Well, for many years I had 330 NEC screens running in portrait mode, worked great, and ran my computer hot, until the latest games just wouldn't always run, not the fault of the monitors, my two 1080s were beginning to run out of gas, and I think Windows, and perhaps Nvidia, updates were. Side downsized to the Asus 34, great screen but I then got seduced by the new Samsung 49, another great screen but I had convinced myself that FreeSync would work just fine with my two 2080s, after all reviewers said it did, even though it was not Xync certified, but it was a fair amount. So there was nothing else for it, shell out $5000 for the best and biggest gaming monitor ever, the Xync Extreme Asus PG65. Is it value for money? Perhaps to Mike Bloomberg, wonder if he's into first person shooters, but I can't begin to answer that question, however as my neighbor bought my Samsung 49 I did at least get a discount, not really I know, but I can easily delude myself. Of course everything up till now is marginally relevant as I haven't even started to review the ASUS 65 yet. But as I've written it I'm not going to delete it, and paradoxically I'm not going to say much about the ASUS 65, just this. 1. I can give no criticism of the quality of this monitor, it renders everything beautifully and perfectly, no more to be said, everything you had before was just preparation for your accession to the PG65, the 144HZ overclock is some of it I guess. 2. Every time you sit in front of this monitor you will be so satisfied with what you see that the $5000 you spent will never be an issue. 3. I think one reviewer suggested that a single 2080T would be adequate to drive the monitor, haven't tried it but go for two, games can only get more difficult to drive and I would be surprised if you can max all games with just one 2080 or in one review I read one 1080, forget it, anyway UH. Make no mistake the screen is big big big, more than I was expecting, the length is fine but it's the height, sick, that gets you, it goes up a long way, sick, then a game from 4 to 5 feet away, if you sit yourself on a sofa light years from the action then you won't have a problem. 5. And big screen big weight, unpacking and hulking the screen onto your tables no joke, don't do it solo as I did. In a few reviews I've seen reference to the monitor's fans being quite noisy, all I can say is that this must have been an initial problem now solved, they are next to silent on the monitor I bought a couple of weeks ago. Click link in description for more reviews and best price.